All right, Canadian rapper Tory Lance was sentenced to 10 years after he was found guilty of shooting hip hop superstar Megan Thee Stallion in the foot after a pair of the left in the Los Angeles party in 2020. This happened around like July 12th at night. So they said as the hearing began Monday in the rap Tuesday today, ending a high profile case, uh, Megan Thee Stallion is subjected to what prosecutors call repeated and gross take attacks and cast a spotlight on the scrutiny black women face when reporting abuse wow man so uh lance he pleaded not guilty but a jury found him guilty of three felony charges in december assault with a semi-automatic firearm carrying a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle and discharging a firearm with gross negligence so he's wearing an orange jump shoot uh, Lance addressed the court before the judge handed down the sentence and he apologized for his actions. So he took full responsibility for the 2020 shooting. Wow. He said, uh, and in quote, if he could change it, he said he would, but I can't. He, I, he said, everything I did that night, I took, I take full responsibility. He added, I truly am just trying to be a better person. Now, Lance looked surprised, but remained quiet after receiving the sentence. The mother of his son burst into tears as she was led out of the courtroom. Matthew Barhoma, a member of Lance legal team, said they plan to file an appeal for both the sentence and the conviction. So the team will also file for bail when they make the sentence appeal. Yeah, man. Uh, at least trying to give him house arrest. But 10 years in prison, I didn't and I expect them to give him that much time. They said not only did the defendant do the heinous act of shooting her, he then subjected her to two and a half years of hell. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy how one decision can really mess your life up, man. Uh, with Tory Lance, he just owned his masters. This is going to really definitely or it has been derailing his uh, music career. Um, you know, they said Megan Thee Stallion, she still she couldn't walk for a while for a minute. She still have nerve damage. She said, I can't really feel the side of my left foot. The back of my feet are always sore, but I just pushed through it. Oh, man. Just wish you would have made better decisions. Um, you know, what was interesting here, too. One of the his um, arguments, his legal team was stating that uh, he had an alcohol abuse issue. And, um, you know, probably deterred from his actions and everything. He has some type of mental illness. But um, the prosecutor that was going against him and his legal team said, you know, this wasn't had nothing to do with mental illness. This particular case, this is just him being uh, negligent in a selfish act. And this was all of his own pride and his own ego. He was his ego was bruised and he retaliated by shooting Maggie Dee Stallion in the foot. So this uh, with Tory Lance, man, um, they said, he, you know, he lost his mother. When she was 11 years old when he was 11 years old so it was hard for him to cope with that but i don't know man it's um you know even with gail king that said in an april interview on cbs mornings prior to the trial she told gail king this is uh, according to megan Thee stallion's testimony that she initially lied to a police because she feared getting to a more dangerous situation uh, this is a weird case. Megan, who publicly named Lance as a shooter in an Instagram live video, and she addressed the incident in her song Shots Fired, also testified about the physical pain she still endures. Mm, mm, mm. Um, move on some more. It said there are many people in our community that endure acts of violence every day from people close to them and feel reluctant to come forward when this happens. Gason said that's the district attorney for Megan Thee Stallion. I hope this Miss P bravery gives hope to those that feels helpless. Wow, 10 years, man. I, yeah, I wonder if, yeah, when they file this appeal, his legal team, this is going to be successful. Maybe he can do, I thought they was going to at least give him like two or three years and deport him, but he'd be a house arrest somewhere in Canada. But man, I mean, 10 years in prison. So uh, this is really heavy here. You know, this is like really shocking news here. Um, you know, he didn't, like I said, if he did do it, like I said, that, that's, that's definitely, he should be charged for it, obviously, and do some time. But 10 years, I'm like, oh my goodness. But I guess you got to deal with the emotional trauma the victim like Megan Thee Stallion still had to endure even though she you know she had to still continue to pursue her music career and uh, go on tour but you know the PTSD her getting shot and her foot was like I said she bone fragments her foot was bleeding but it is so many things like she cut her f foot or was it just a big fight in some glass we don't know but I don't know man it's just weird here but it's not really looking good for a Tory Lance. Uh, I'll say this too, according to ABC News, they said she told the court that Lance offered her a million dollars to keep quiet about the shooting. So he's trying to bribe her of uh, this incident. Wow. But uh, that's all we have to say. You guys can like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Uh, that's all the thoughts and uh, I have for this case uh, right now after this, you know, and the sentencing that we just now know it's all public. So until next time I get any additional new information, I'm going to go ahead and report it. I love you guys. I'm out. Deuces.